it's a bank fraud case that continues to haunt uh, Jet Airways founder Naresh Goyal. Times now has now accessed exclusive details of the ED charge sheet that the central agency has submitted in court. The key charges include diversion of funds in the garb of inflated commissions and unexplained playouts. The probe agency also says that in the funds siphoned off through Jetlight India Limited to pay for personal stuff and family members as well as that Goel acquired immovable assets in the name of family and himself. Let me take this across to Radhika, who's joining us for more. Radhika, you've accessed this uh, exclusive copy of the charge sheet uh, of enforcement directorate on Naresh Goel. Quickly take us through how damaging it is and how serious these charges are. Well, the charges are definitely serious. This is a charge sheet that was submitted by the enforcement directorate today, filed today, court taking cognizance of it today as well. This is a 4,000 page charge sheet which names not just Naresh Goel, but his wife as well as four private entities as the accused. Now to take you through what it says, of course it talks about how audits have revealed that the funds had been siphoned off and diverted by Naresh Goel as well as his family members. It speaks about payments made to professional consultancy services. It speaks about commission expenses and also how funds were diverted for you for personal use of not just Goel but also his family members and also employees of subsidiary companies of uh, Jet Airways as well. Now to uh, take you through each of these points points very briefly. Uh, it says it is revealed that uh, from the complaint, 1,152 crore was incurred towards professional and consultancy services. To expenses to the extent of rupees 420 crore are paid to entities whose nature of business is different from that of Jet Airways. It also goes on to talk about commission expenses. Now funds were diverted through Jet Light Limited mm. as per an agreement of JIL. So this, in fact, the borrowers here is actually J I L. Okay. However, funds were diverted through J L L as well. Which so is a lot of money Light changing limited. hands, a lot and of money being siphoned off. That's the allegation in a crux. Radhika, please stay with us. I want to, in fact, uh, show our viewers the charge sheet that you've accessed, and I want to go across to Pranesh uh, Roy, who's joining us with those details. Pranesh, very quickly, take us through this exclusive copy of the E D charge sheet that Radhika has accessed for us. That's right. Uh, five, assets worth five thirty-eight crores attached by the enforcement rate. rate. This is the copy of the chart sheet accessed by our colleague Radhika. Let me uh, take you through some of the highlights. Uh, point number 1.7, it says, it is revealed that all the above stated transactions pointed towards cheating and misappropriation of funds by the borrower and the borrower had misappropriated and siphoned off the funds borrowed from banks. Utilize the same for purposes of foreign unrelated uh, to the operations of the borrower and to detriment of the detriment of the financial health of the company. Here's the next page of the chart sheet. This says the GSA commissions paid by JIL were ultimately used by members of Goyal family in incurring their personal expenses and siphoning of funds by executing different bogus consulti consultancy contracts only to be used in acquiring immovable properties and luxury cars. The funds were also diverted in paying the loan amounts of other related entities. Besides, funds of JIL were also siphoned off to pay the personal staff of Naresh Goyal deployed at his Mumbai and Delhi residences very quickly Madhav uh, this is the summary it says it is summarized that Naresh Goel was blatantly siphoning of funds from JIL which was already a loss making entity since long he drained JIL out of funds and kept out right. infusing money into related entities uh, so more trouble staring at Very him. strongly worded charge sheet over there, Pranesh. One normally doesn't see such extra strong language being used in this kind of a charge sheet, but it seems that troubles for Naresh Goel could just be beginning. The turbulence for Jet Airways, we all know the story of what happened to the airline, but as far as Naresh Goel is concerned, a very serious charge of siphoning of money for personal and family purposes. There's some more breaking news coming in. The enforcement director has provisionally attached properties worth 538 crore rupees of Jet Airways. Attached assets include 17 flats, bungalows, commercial properties linked to Jet Airways and its founder, Naresh Goyal. Let me quickly go across to Bhavtosh for more on this. Bhavtosh, it's not very often that we see that on the same day that the charge sheet cognizance is taken off, that the property attachment also happens. Very clearly, the enforcement directorate feels that it has an extremely strong watertight case and therefore is moving very swiftly in its crackdown on Naresh Goyal. Uh, yes, Madhav, adding to what uh, Radhika has said, it's only because of uh, funds were ham uh, hemorrhaged by, uh, by Naresh Goyal and his family members and they were using the bank for uh, bank loans uh, for personal uh, personal consumption uh, the ed has acted uh, very quickly and they have uh, attached provisionally attached uh, their assets not only in india but also in london and dubai in fact in a very detailed statement they have said 
that they have identified uh, their assets uh, in India as well as abroad now. Uh, total assets that have been attached by the enforcement directorate is at around 538 crore rupees, exactly the amount of loan that they had taken from a consortium of banks. And uh, they had said that the manner in which this was done clearly shows that they had connived with uh, bank officials. Uh, as Radhika was saying that uh, this was done in a very systematic manner. Uh, loans that were taken on, uh, on behalf of JetLite, which was formerly A Sahara, was then diverted uh, for personal consumption and then these huge uh, properties were purchased by Naresh Goyal and uh, even the professionals that professionals that they had claimed were working for uh, betterment of the company were all in fact uh, working for uh, Naresh Goyal and others. Uh, Naresh Goyal was arrested uh, in September. He continues right. to be in judicial custody.